everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Amy June and here on this channel I like to do all things homemaking, cleaning, cooking, decorating, party prep. I do business behind the scenes, makeup, skincare, pretty much just all the things. I don't fit in one box and neither should you. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a small bedroom Christmas decorate with me. As you can see I've already gotten started back here. I just have a few more touches and a few more things that I need to add. We do have a pretty small bedroom actually very small so I do what I can and I do try to recycle things that I've used in previous years I don't buy a ton of stuff I so far have maybe spent 40 to 50 bucks this year and the rest is out in our container ready for me to grab I did just recently film a fall decorate with me I know it's kind of confusing fall Christmas fall Christmas but I am going to jump back and forth and the reason being is because I do host Christmas and I do host Thanksgiving and I do want my guests to have the experience of both, both of the ambiance, you know, the warm amber colors for fall and then of course more of, in my opinion, I like the warm whites. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm up to and I hope that you enjoy today's video and get some inspiration. I do have a pretty small house, so there's not like a ton of rooms to decorate. I do just decorate my kitchen, my dining, my living room, my guest bathroom, and my master bedroom. That's pretty much it. So if you like real life content and you want to feel a little bit of inspiration without spending so much money, then just stay tuned. Here are the few things I purchased for my room this year. I know I mentioned I didn't spend much money. I didn't include this comforter. It was, I think, $60, but I am gonna use it all winter long so it's not just for Christmas decor. Um, and then this beautiful faux cashmere blanket with the forest green and the red and this Ray Dunn inspired pillow cover with the green that kind of ties in to the blanket both from Amazon then these lights that I'm gonna hang above my bed from Target and these mini ornaments from Walmart I'm gonna add command hooks to each side of my headboard and then I'm going to hang these beautiful star lights I absolutely love these and they are battery operated so you don't have to worry about plugging anything in or anything like that so I'm just gonna go ahead and get these hung it is challenging in my room because my bed is against the wall it's literally the only configuration that works for us so we can still have our dresser and the dog bed on the floor so I kind of climb into my bed to make my bed and to do any <laughs> type of decor above my bed And this plush comforter has been like one of the best investments I feel like I've ever made. It is so comfortable. It, I have been sleeping in it for a month now. I filmed this video a month ago. Can you guys believe it? I've been so busy with my marketing agency, but thanks for bearing with me. I'm getting it up now and happy holidays. All right, so this is what it looks like when I took it out of the box here. So we just got to pretty much fluff it up. It came all put together already. It has the lights on it. These are pretty affordable too. I cannot remember. Oh, they were 59 for two trees. I don't know where I'm going to use the other one, but I'm doing it in here so that I don't destroy my room. I'll just vacuum in here after. But there's two different branches in here it looks like. Maybe not. But it's very flocked and I, I'm living for it. Love it and it has the pretty little fairies on it. So I'm just gonna get this fluffed and I will be back. I'm gonna keep it quite simple. I am gonna use a little bit of this because I do wanna add some ribbon to the tree. This is how it looks in here. I still need to fluff it 
a little bit more like forever fluffing and making a mess and I was gonna put snow around the base I'm not sure if I'm going to we'll see but this is how it looks it does have lights and I do have a second one which I'm not sure if I want to put it right here I haven't decided yet but this is how it will look and then my bed is just how I showed you earlier in the video. This just is a different day than I originally filmed this, but we're going with like the warm and cozy beiges, whites, greens, traditional like Merry Christmas. So yes, and my room is very small. And then also you did see me put these lights. I'll show you everything when it's on. Close my bathroom door so you're not like distracted, but let's get this decorated. The ribbon. Just kind of tuck it behind under the branch. And I'm still fluffing as I go. It's just so much to fluff, but I'm just gonna curve it and then tuck it into the tree. in as I go you can obviously adjust this let me get you guys a better angle and then I didn't like the way I was doing the ribbon so I decided to wrap it around the tree and that's what happens when I don't pre-plan and I just kind of go off the cuff with everything I usually don't wrap ribbon around my tree but this year I did it with both of my trees I did my main tree a little bit different you will see so I hope you stay and subscribe because that video is coming out next I show how I did my entire living room Christmas tree so I hope you guys tune into that. That should be out in the next couple days. I'm just trying to get these videos edited in between my work day. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories old. And I've been long to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories I've honestly never done like this gold and uh, actually I have but I always put it in with reds this tree is not gonna have any red in it so we're gonna start with the big ones and then just start filling it in I'm gonna this one already has little strings so it'll be easy but I'm just gonna Take them apart like this to make it easier just to get them onto the tree. And we're just gonna fill in spots and they are very glittery. So I actually had to move it. It was in this corner and I had to move it here because I had to plug it in behind the TV. So then I'm just gonna fill this area with some other stuff. I am. 
Snow. I love this snow. This one is the one from Target. It's my favorite one. It does have some glitter in it, which doesn't bother me, but I love how the edges aren't super straight and they're kind of more jagged. And now I'm just going to decorate around the tree a little bit. I got this really cute snowballs for sale sign from Target in the dollar spot. And then I also got these little flocked trees that needed a little bit of fluffing. I got them also in the Target dollar spot. I did have to break apart the snow or spread the snow apart to make sure they stand up. They were just flopping over. So I put little little hole there so it actually sat on my dresser. But that is pretty much it for the video. And then I do have a countdown to Christmas. We have like three of these. My son has so much fun changing the dates every single day he goes around the house. So love that little tradition. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Simple, easy, affordable, and very cozy and relaxing. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. I would love if you subscribed and I will see you in the next video. Now here's the little tour. Santa's gonna come and join us in this song oh, yeah. All right, we're back in here and since I found these little ornaments when I was grabbing stuff out of last year's things, I decided that I would add them to this tree just to give it a little more something-something. There we go. Just a little something, something. This is so pretty. Love it. And then while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. All I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas